out. Hey! Hey! Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Keep holding him. In this video, you're gonna hear me say something that you've never heard me say, and that is that this dog should get rehomed. You're gonna hear the rationale for it. You're gonna hear the original content of me talking to this guy, his wife, and they have a little baby at home. And you're gonna hear when it, is, when it is right to rehome your dog and when it is not right to rehome your dog. I'm also gonna go to, through the solutions that will help him and his family help these dogs. But then ultimately, if those don't work quickly, this dog should be rehomed. So he has two dogs, two pit bulls. They're fighting. They have latched onto each other. The big thing is, though, there is a new baby in the home. I believe the baby's like two weeks old or five weeks old. The baby was at the session. Dogs are great with the baby. But the mom, it is not fair for the mother of the child to experience the stress that she is experiencing in the home because that goes to the baby. It goes through to the baby through breast milk. It goes through the baby of the baby being so close to the mom and the mom's stress. So you have to think about the baby in these situations. This whole dog training thing is not just about dogs. It is about people. And it's about people safety as much as it is about dogs. And it is about child safety. My way of doing dog training and handling clients and recommending things to clients is more about child and baby safety than it is about dog or adult safety. The child safety thing is my utmost goal in doing this job, okay? Those are the, the things that can be seriously injured, killed, and maimed, more than adults ever can, okay? So there is a time and a place to rehome a dog. I've never said it on a video, I don't think. I say it occasionally to people, and I thought this was a, we happened to get it on video, so I was like, okay, this is a good video to tell you guys when it's okay. So here's what, these dogs are attacking each other. You're gonna see it on video and it's, I'm pretty sure this was gonna be a pretty bad fight if we let it go. But they're gonna look at each other and it would have been bad. If you know anything about dog body language, you're gonna know that this was about to be a fight. I waited to grab both the dogs till the guy could grab a dog at the exact same time as me. I would almost, I let it go for two, three seconds until that guy was ready because I didn't want to grab one and have the other jump on. So we grabbed him at the same time. You're going to see that in a minute. But here's the here's what I told this guy. There's two solutions. And there's not always just two solutions. Sometimes there are more, sometimes there's less. So I said, give it the old college try with what I'm going to tell you, but you might have to rehome the dog eventually. So the dog doesn't get out enough. So I was telling the guy, he's this the two-year-old young dog, the uh, tan-colored dog, the aggressor of the two, he needs to get out of the house more. He's so worked up that if he doesn't get out, he is going to fight his brother. It's not his real brother, the other dog in the house. He, it's just going to happen. There's almost nothing you can do about it. He's got so much pent up energy, it's going to happen. So I said, you got to get this dog out more. Okay, so that was number one. I'm telling him that right now or at some point. Number two, and this is as important as exercise, is this guy or you in your life, whatever, you got to be the boss of the house. We're not having a pug and a Bichon fight in the house. Okay, and this isn't some situation where your dog is aggressive to random dogs on the, out and about. You can control being aggressive to random dogs. The problem with in-home fighting is you either have to always have the dog separated or you gotta be ready to have some horrible fight where people get bit in the hand and life's change or children get bit in the face and life's change because fights migrate. Fights move all over the house. I've seen it, it's bad, okay? People lose fingers, people get bit in parts of their hand where their bones never heal. This is serious, serious business. So the other thing is this guy and you guys, you have to be the boss of the house, okay? You want that dog to go, I'm not fighting around this guy. This guy's serious. That's why dogs don't fight around me for the most part is that. And I'm trying to instill that in this guy, this whole session. And this guy to his credit does not want to give up on his dog. He's tried everything. The baby is what has changed my recommendation and hopefully changed his mind a little bit to try everything I told him, but if it doesn't work, rehome the dog. But again, this guy has done way more than a lot of people would do with their dog because he kind of can, he, he feels bad for the dog. 
and he wants to help the dog as much as possible. But sometimes there are other things at, at stake and a family and a baby are those other things. Okay, here's the original audio. You being the boss of the house, okay? Um, if that dog does anything that you don't like, you're all over him. My yell was pretty loud, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what I did for a simple thing of being too pushy with her. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm over it. He needs to be tamped down because he's attacking this dog in your presence. What is that? What a jerky move on his part. Yeah, you should want to, I got you. I would be, he should be going, okay, dude, Shaquille, you are the freaking boss of this place. I don't mess around with that dog, even though I don't like that dog. Mm -hmm. You are here, Shaquille. You, and so how do you- Out of respect for me. Out of respect. And, and out of whatever you want to call it, man. Yeah. I don't, I mean, no, the, treats are not going <laughs> to solve this. E-collars are not going to solve this. Exercise is going to help this. Cesar Milan had it right the whole time, dude. Do you know Cesar Milan? Mm -hmm. He had it right the whole time. Like the boss, and I, I've changed it and I don't even take after him. I don't even watch it. I just have come to that place as well. And what I say is like, you don't mess around around the boss. Oh, good, she came down. You don't mess around around the boss. You know, mm -hmm. the six dogs here, they don't fight in front of me. They don't fight in front of me. And I walk around and if they jump on me, I'm like, bink, get out of here. If they bark, I'm like, hey, and I grab them. There's no bark, like there's no messing around. And that's, you got two pit bulls. You have a baby. There's no messing around anymore. You know, you got to bring that like military side out. Hey, hey, grab them, grab them, grab them, grab them. Keep holding them. Normally when I grab him, because I'm worried about him because he's bigger dog. Yeah. But as soon as I grab him, he starts to go. Yep. He'll try and go I get it. But he looked at him too stiff for that. They both, they like both that. looked at each other too much. Yeah. He, I didn't like that. He, he looked at him. I mean, they got weird dynamics. Don't let him get out of that thing. So do you know how to make, not know how to make him? Like yeah. Him. I do a little different than that. I do a weird thing. I don't know. But you make a Martin Gale out of the... Now they're looking at each other. Okay, so what you're gonna do, put that leash on. Don't let him get out of that collar. Do you want this one? Yeah, in put case. that one on him. Okay. In case what? No, it's because the better is kept here. Okay, go he, fight your he, friend. He's heavy. <laughs> Good boy. Get closer. So, so this is another thing you can do. I'm glad we saw that, right? That was, could have popped off. There was for sure looks between them, right? I don't know if something was gonna happen, but it looked like it yeah, certainly yeah, could. <laughs> and. So you and your wife or girlfriend uh -huh. can do this where you guys put them. I mean, but you have to see that badness first. Yeah, yeah. But if That's you do, like, yeah. like now this guy is a little, you see my correction I gave him a minute ago just for looking at him. Mm -hmm. um, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. You're okay. Um, you guys could do this where you walk them around each other. I'm glad we got to this. Where you walk them around each other and then you give, when they look at each other wrong, you give this guy or that guy a pop and then they calm down and then you let them back together. Okay. Um, I think, you know, I just think you got too much and then you bring them close, but now we can control it before. Like if something were to happen right there, that would have sucked. Like yeah, we're all putting our hands in there and trying to break it up, but this is totally manageable. And then if they look at each other wrong, you can give a pop, get him. Oh God, sorry, dude. Oh yeah. Shaquille's here. Oh yeah. Joel's here. And so we can do it off leash, but it's, better on leash. So this guy is probably more tamped down based on that correction that I gave him. Mm -hmm. You know, this guy hasn't done a bad look since then, or I would say down into the side. How are you feeling about the dynamics in the house? Um, it makes me incredibly anxious, especially with a newborn baby. Um, incredibly anxious. Yes, which I know doesn't bode well because they can sense how I'm feeling, but it's just so unpredictable. And that's what I don't like about it. Like if we were able to predict it and so- Okay. I think that you should, should give this the old college try. And what I mean by that is, I think you gotta go home. You've got to go on a walk every day with that dog, okay? And if you can't do that, I would rehome the dog, okay? I, I don't know how we get around this without walking that dog. Okay, and I think you could 
reduce everything by 80% by walking that duck. I think the other 20%, you could, you could, it could not. The other 20% is you, mainly you, being the freaking boss of the house and running this deal, deal militarily. She is feeling so stressed. Do you know how hard that is? That is? On, they've done studies now with stress in the mom breastfeeding a baby and how that's, there's, there's actually like chemicals that get released and goes into the, and goes into the baby. They're doing real uh, stress and how it affects people. You, I'm bringing that up. I've never brought that up to anybody, yeah. but she used the word insanely stressed or something, okay? And now, and there are studies, legit studies, and I'm very skeptical of studies, like very skeptical, but that actually makes sense. Like we now have a baby involved in this deal mm -hmm. and there's whole, a whole nother level of like you guys and a human child bringing that child up to be this great kid and we can't be adding stress to her life there's a lot going on here and you've got a dangerous situation you have a legit dangerous situation do you make the money for the family for the most part what if your hand gets messed? i mean you know yeah, what i'm yeah. saying dude? <laughs> there's real stuff going on here yeah. there's life-changing things happening right now and you guys with hopefully I'm helping you. And this is from like me having my own kids, me being married, me seeing all the stuff I've seen. I'm giving it to you like as straight as I can possibly give it to you. Mm -hmm. You don't have a, 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 a pug and a, you know, be Sean here. This is serious business. Um, you've been fortunate that no one's gotten hurt. Your hand hasn't been bit. Um, if she wasn't there, the, the times I can't, I need a third hand. Someone had to pull them away. Yeah, yeah, because I can just hold. This. I can just yeah. do this, and that's about it. And barely coming. Yes, barely. You can barely do it. <laughs> She's a good dog, but the, the the home environment is not right for these two guys. We have a baby here. It's changed everything. The two ways I said are the only ways that we do it, and I don't even know if that's going to work. And hopefully, no one gets hurt in the meantime. And your wife is telling you that she, she used the term extremely stressed, I think. Like that's, that's serious, you know? She didn't use that on accident. This is too much. Like if you don't much. catch that, then it's too late and then they're already fighting at that point. He's right? talking about splitting the house in two. Yeah, I just <laughs> want to do everything I could <laughs> just, to like, yeah, yeah, separate and split the house like in two, a little baby so divider. Much, yeah, it's just, <laughs> yeah, that's not. That's She's not like, we're not doing that. No. <laughs> I mean, you're going to be doing crates and separation for a while and you should be walking him then you should be coming home and the minute this guy jumps on you you knee him off you mm -hmm. you the minute he tries to pull on leash you give him a correction the minute he uh 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 you say come and he doesn't come you go get his little butt and you bring him back and they don't sleep in the bed with you which i don't think they do no. or one of them doesn't no. like you got to do all this stuff and then some the minute you go go to your bed and this guy balks for three seconds you go uh bed and he goes uh, you go you grab his little butt and you take him to the bed and you take him to the bed because you're not messing around mm -hmm. you know the minute he comes in and wants to smell my crotch i'm like get your butt out of here this dog has to be more afraid of you than he than he is wanting to fight that guy I know that's blunt and I usually don't say it that way, but I need you to understand what's going on and be, yeah. I don't know if he is or not. She said, he's chill when I'm like, when I'm, when I'm there watching him, he doesn't, I feel like he doesn't do, he's not as bad. Probably. Yeah. Not as bad, him, but. but he's still bad. Yeah. I mean, he was ready to fight down there with you or that one. Like you're right. This one might be the problem. This one might be the problem too. Like the dynamics are the problem. I don't know who's the, I think you said he used to bully him when he was young. No, um, he's the defensive one. He'll, he won't do anything. He'll never make the first move. He just wants to chill. And, um, all right, so we're pretty sure it's him. Agree. Yes. All right. He all always, the first three fights were all him. And then he just stopped putting up with it and doesn't let him strike first anymore. <laughs> if there was a word for it, he don't care. I don't know. Maybe because I'm not stern enough with Sit. him. Sit. Yeah, he's never responded to me at all. He thinks that everything's a game. Le yeah. Unless <laughs> yeah, he like, does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I yeah, tell him no teeth, no tongue, no teeth, because he gets a little mouthy. But not like biting, 
I, yeah, I taught when I when I reached over the gate up there. The first thing you did was this yeah. little mouth, and then right there, the lick to the face. That's why I stood up and I grabbed it. It's to the face. It's a it's a lick to the face. I'm a little more hardcore about that. Yeah. Yeah. There's no jumping. It's a jump and a. I'm gonna get up here and be in your face. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to show you. Like like I don't really care about that stuff, but I'm trying to show you how hardcore you have to be in order to solve this very complex dynamic between these two. You gotta go over the top with this stuff, or you gotta have him go, This both of them go, I wanna fight that guy, but freaking this dude. Yeah. And until you get that, we got no shot. I'm telling you, your life going forward is going to be much more difficult with, with, with them and, and more dangerous. Yes, you're absolutely correct. So you have to decide whether you want to take that on. And I would not want to take that on if it was me with the new baby. Yeah. But, I mean, I get it. You love your dog. I get it. <laughs> I get it. It's not you anymore, though. Yeah. It's them, too. No.